Grow, Share, Cook is about providing fresh veg to families who might not necessarily have the means to get it themselves. It's also about nurturing skills that have maybe been laid dominant for a while and to encourage to cook from fresh. And so we were looking at families on low incomes, uh, families that maybe didn't have the means to access fresh fruit and veg. Grow, Share, Cook is a cities of service project. A cities of service is a volunteering model and what it effectively means is we ask volunteers to help the city in addressing its biggest challenges. We've got volunteers who are growing food, we've got volunteers delivering that food and the volunteers who are sharing their cooking expertise. There's a huge overlap between those people who have the least resources and those people who are housed by housing associations. So that overlap means that it, we're a great place to start to actually help people who want to make the most of their potential because they are living in our homes. So within the Grow Share Cook programme, Tay Micro Local is coordinating the growing with uh, our volunteers at various projects in, in Plymouth and in the Valley. And we're coordinating the distribution of the bags, um, so the, the sharing element, through deliveries again with, with the help of volunteers and the packing of the veg bags with volunteers. We're at Callington Fresh Produce with bowel picking um, savoy cabbages, the Grow Share Cook bags. Being able to access vegetables from local growers means that we can get them in super fresh. These savoys will go into the veg bags this afternoon um, and be with the um, recipients of the veg bags in less than 24 hours tomorrow. It's a great seat actually because um, you can kind of add loads of stuff to it if you want. If you like it really spicy, you can add a little bit of chilli powder or anything really. I like putting, I like putting chilli in it because I really like spicy soup, but yeah. There are different types of food poverty. I mean, yeah, the bottom line is about people not having the money side of it. But it's also poor knowledge and poor skills. And so we're just kind of reintroducing quick and easy ways to bring back a love of cooking from fresh. We start really simple. So we start with very straightforward, easy dishes that can then be adapted depending on the different skill levels. So it's our job to make sure that everybody gets some of their passion back. I've been involved in the project from the very beginning and uh, my role is to introduce uh, healthy eating to people and how to use the fresh veg in everyday cooking. I really like working with people, that's the main thing and uh, I also have got a big passion uh, about cooking and healthy eating, healthy lifestyle and I think that's a great way to combine those two things. The simplest things I, won't, I wasn't taught, so it's still it's a yeah. big learning curve for me. I'm more confident, whereas I wasn't confident before, so I just like, I take away all the time, because I'm scared to cook. I'm eating a lot more veg, and I'm using a lot of the fresh veg from the bags, so it's just helped, helped me a lot, whereas normally we buy frozen veg. What other vegetables do you like, Bobby? What else could we use in the house? I like carrots. You do like carrots, so we're making a yeah. carrot roof. What else are we going to use carrots for? Um, for cooking. Cooking. Good idea. It means a lot because my, my little girl gets to learn about different vegetables and things that's kind of introducing her into healthier eating and different types of vegetables that we wouldn't normally see. Bobby eats quite a lot now because um, before she was a little bit picky with with carrots and you know broccoli and things like that. But now I've introduced her into helping me cook it and prepare it. She she loves it and she eats it all up now, so it's good. <laughs> and did we have beetroot the other week? Yeah. And wow. When I do cook it, I put it in the water and then stir it all up. Do you? Yeah. Do you like cooking? Yeah. How's mummy's yeah. cooking? Um, is she as good as Nana yet? Yep. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Mum, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So I'm heading off now over to Whitley, um, where we're going to do some door-to-door -door deliveries. Just going to drop this one off to Gina. Gina's been on the project since the start of this particular group, and she's loving it. Hey Gina, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You're looking very well. Got lovely, lovely stuff for you this week. Oh, lovely. I'm trying to lose weight at the moment and on a very low income, so fruit and veg is a massive thing to me. So we're here this morning to see George at Hester's Harvest to come and collect rhubarb for the Grocher Cook bags which are going out in the van tomorrow. Just a little twist and then we just cut, cut most of the leaf off. This is my... Oh, is that your weighing? Oh my god, that's awesome. Weighing device or spring balance. <laughs> Pop that on the scales. And there we are, that's 10 kilos of rhubarb and a half kilo box. Great. And we're looking for ones around that size. Our client group ranges from those with extreme schizophrenia, um, bipolar disorders, to just depression, which we can provide a, a graduated occupational therapy. We produce quite a lot of crops, and, and anything we have left over goes into the Grocher Cook project. The best uh, element with, with regard to that is the fact that our clients feel that they are contributing to their local community. Pick them up here, here right near the top, like that. Sorry. That's okay, don't worry. It's just that sometimes the pod will rip if you pick them like that. Up here, up here, up here. There, got it, got it. And Paul, well done. Honestly, how much I've changed from coming to here, it's really helped me, like, it's made me a lot stronger and it's really helped get me going again and nice to know you've made a bit of a difference and also, like, you're getting out. I think I use more veg, different type of veg, than I would have done before. And I think the kids try more different veg than they would have done before as well. It ties together so many elements of the work that, that we do and the other partners are doing in a way that is beneficial for everybody. Wider than just the eating five vegetables a day, it's about connecting people who might feel excluded and it's a way of actually getting involved with things that you can see literally the success on the plate.